Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video I have an Acer laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire 3. This model they come with an AMD Ryzen 3. Uh, what are we gonna do in here? A client this brought this one in because they they dropped it and the hard drive is not responding and it's not booting up. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna open it up. I will take you step by step how you can open it up and how you can upgrade it or remove the mechanical drive replace the mechanical drive or uh, do an upgrade by installing a solid state drive i would recommend you many different uh, any solid state drive will work but i would recommend you the samsung ones that are really durable and will last you longer and the cheaper versions would be the kingston these are reliable but the lifetime spam of this one that really uh, comes down really a lot so i'll leave the link in the description for a better one which is a samsung but if you guys want to go you can go with a kingston a400 too these are the most used ones and the cheapest one all right in order to get opening uh, start opening this laptop uh, you need few tools you will need a screwdriver set i use the ifixit tool set as they provide you with all the bits that you need to open any type of laptop or electronics and we're going to be using phillips number zero from here all right also you will be needing an opening tool this and this I fix it tool set. They come with a variety of the package. They have a screwdriver set and they have a package for opening tools. You can purchase that one, or you can get any opening tools. I use the guitar pick in this case, which is my favorite for using because it fits nicely in the between your fingers to get to the places that you need to reach. So that's my favorite one. If not, you can purchase again the full set of the I fix it. which they will provide you the opening tools that you need. All right, so let's get it started. First thing first, what we wanna do here, we wanna remove all the screws on the bottom cover. So go ahead and start. There should be around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws in total. So go ahead and remove these 10 screws. The screws are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So pretty much just go ahead and remove them. All right, now that we remove the screws from here, what you want to do, you want to grab your guitar pick or opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover of the laptop. Just like that, you have to snug it right there. You want about two or three millimeters inward and then what you want to do you want to just twist it around or just bend it to one side and you're going to hear some clicks those are the uh, clips that are getting loose so go ahead do that all around all the way to the back to the left and the right side all right and you can do the back again by the fan you stick it right in there and then just Pop those clips right there. And then you can grab the bottom side and just wiggle it around. It should come out pretty easy. All right. And down here, you're gonna see the hard drive that says one terabyte. This is a mechanical drive. Again, I'm just gonna recap this. To remove the hard drives or any other components, like a RAM or hard drive, you do not need to remove the battery. It's really unnecessary. But if you want to remove the battery, there's a power jack right here for the battery. Just pull these cables back, it will get disconnected. But you do not need to do this if you want to upgrade the hard drive. To remove the hard drive, there's a caddy that holds it in place. There's a one, two, three, four screws that hold the caddy. Go ahead and remove these four screws. All right, once you remove the screws, now what you want to do, you want to do either disconnect it from here or disconnect it from this side, the ribbon cable that crosses over by pulling up this uh, trigger upward 90 degrees. And then, and then the flex cable is just going to slide out pretty easy. 
then you can go ahead and remove the hard drive. All right, this caddy is missing few screws because on each side of the caddy there should be one and two screws. So one, two, there's a screw missing here, that's why it's loosened up. Another side, same thing, there's one screw missing. I already have two screws lying around. They're different color, but it will do the job. Anyway, we need to remove this adapter from here. So pull this adapter out and grab yourself the new SSD. And if you pay attention to the contacts on the SSD, they have the SATA and the power. Same thing in here. Have this. It has to be in the same position. If you cannot put it backward, otherwise it will not match the contact on the adapter. So remove the screws from here and remove the bracket and place it in the same order that you move from this one. So I'm removing it from here. Uh, actually, this one has a little plastic right here. So you have to remove both sides. So remove the hard drive and place the solid state right here and put the screws right on the side. Okay, this black screw doesn't go there, so just gonna find a new screw. There we go. Now that we have the SST in place, grab the adapter, plug it in. It only goes in one way, so you cannot try putting it the other way around. So only goes in one way. Put the adapter right there. Now first you want to hold it this like this and you want to open up this trigger and you want to lay down the flex cable right in there. Make sure it goes all the way in and then close the lid on top and bring the SSD down on the its place and place the four screw around on the caddy. So you can keep the caddy in place, the hard drive in place, I mean. Now, uh, this hard drive is not going to have any operating system in here. So you have to install your new hard drive, new operating system. I'll leave the link in the description how you can do that. And so you will need a 16 gigabyte USB thumb drive. And just with that, you can just install the new drive. Just go through my description. I'll leave the link in there how you can install the windows in here. All right, and the last step would be to double check if you disconnected the battery, plug it back in, grab the top cover, bring it over, and now you're gonna push the corners and you're gonna hear those some clicks. You have to hear those clicks. All right. And the last thing would be to put in the bottom screws. And I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And it will be a really great help. And if you guys subscribe, so I can take requests and answer your questions and help you guys out. And again, thank you for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.